Hello, this is Chris Salter from your MLC CAD Systems Atlanta office. Today I'm going to run through a pretty typical scenario found especially around this time of year when the new release of SolidWorks has been out for a few months and some people have upgraded and some people have not for, for various reasons. Currently you can see that I am in SolidWorks Premium 2009. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up a file that was sent from a future version. And you can see here I've got a brand new 2010 SOLIDWORKS part. This could have come from a customer, a supplier, it could have come from somebody just down the hall. Now you can see when I try and open up that part, as you would expect, I cannot open this brand new 2010 SOLIDWORKS part. And the reason being is that it is from a future version. So this is a pretty common scenario. How would you get around this? Well, what you could do is um, if you can make contact with the person running SOLIDWORKS 2010, um, I'm going to open up a 2010 version here, and what you would do is you would just request that that person who sent you the file from the future version just make a few changes and send a, another file back to you. The first thing is here, we're going to ask them to save the file in a neutral format. Uh, this will work with IGES, Parasolid or STEP. I'm going to use the Parasolid which is the native kernel of SOLIDWORKS. I'm just going to use that. We'll have them save that file and then send it to us as a Parasolid. So then back in our 2009 release of the software we're able to open up that very file that they saved in the neutral format. We'll open up this Parasolid and the first thing that SOLIDWORKS is going to ask you when you bring in a neutral file format is uh, it's going to ask you if you wish to run import diagnostics. A good rule of thumb is that you should always click on yes and run import diagnostics. Now if you find any problems with the parts that you that you bring in from a neutral format you should go ahead and fix any of the faulty face, faces or gaps in the part. You should do that immediately. Okay so our part is now in SOLIDWORKS 2009 is an imported part so we don't have any feature history. What I'm going to do now in SOLIDWORKS 2009 is I'm going to turn on an add-in called FeatureWorks. FeatureWorks is available in SOLIDWORKS Professional or above so if you have Professional or Premium then you have this tool at your disposal and what FeatureWorks will do is it will turn on another menu at the top of my screen and I'm going to select Recognize Features from FeatureWorks. In FeatureWorks itself you can see we have the recognition mode set to automatic. We can also do this interactively as well if we wish. The, um, the feature type that we're going to recognize here is obviously going to be standard features for the part that we have. But if this was a sheet metal part then we could also recognize sheet metal features as well. Well we're going to allow FeatureWorks to uh, automatically recognize all of these features here and then if we just hit the uh, the little blue circle here you can see that FeatureWorks right away recognizes these four features we can get a nice preview of these by clicking on them and you can see what the features look like by clicking those and then when we're happy with that we can just hit the green check button and what SOLIDWORKS and FeatureWorks will do is it will quickly run through our part and it will apply those features to our part you can see straight away it gives us this feature tree and it looks like it's a part that was made from scratch in SOLIDWORKS in the 2009 version. Under each of these features that it's recognized there is a sketch as you would expect or two if there is two sketches such as in the the whole wizard and because we have that feature tree just like any other feature tree in SOLIDWORKS we can now go in and we can make edits to either the sketches or to the features themselves the part is now fully editable in SOLIDWORKS 2009 even though this part was made in SOLIDWORKS 2010 we're no longer held up waiting for the latest release of SOLIDWORKS to be installed 